The area ahead you might remember is popular with the tourists. Stop and check it out. Remember these? The giant's kettles? We just call them the potholes. When I was a young warden, my friend Mbali and I used to patrol out here. We saw some tourists bring coins and toss them into the holes for good luck. So we started doing the same. We can't do that anymore. It draws too many thieves. The only predators we ever saw here were a family of jackals, always sulking about. They never bothered Mbali and I. At least. You know what? You should keep moving, looking for Baden. There's another spot to the north. Give it a look. Grandchild, this is not easy for me to talk about, but I must tell you. One day, we were a man down, so Mbali went out scouting on her own, even though she was not feeling well. Nine hours later, she hadn't returned. I knew where to look for her, her lucky potholes. But when I found her, she was dead. And the jackals were eating her. Now those jackals had the taste of people, and you know what that means. Two females, their litters, their mate. I had to shoot them all. They'd never bothered us, but here, I thought these jackals killed him Bali. I was so angry. After I shot them, I didn't harvest them. I didn't honor them. I kicked their bodies into the holes and left them to rot while I brought Mbali back to her family. <sighs> the jackals come to find out did not kill Mbali. Did. As gruesome as it was, the jackals were scavenging, not murdering. They had to be put down, but with respect, not hatred. I didn't regret doing it, not at first, but then whenever I was on night patrol, I began to see it, the ghost jackal. Your brother thinks I should be in therapy for trauma, but the Sangoma confirmed the spiritual nature of the problem. The jackal's spirit haunts me, haunts Bahonga. Now it haunts Gustav Baden. What if... What if it haunts you, grandchild? What if I have cursed our family? Look, give me a moment here. Your brother is going to lecture me on my superstitious ways. You should continue looking for Baden at the outpost marked up ahead. Without judging him. 
You're almost at the outpost. Also, I, um, I have some news. The coroner recovered those butchers' bodies, or what's left of them. You made it. Any signs of burden? No? Oh, this is bad. Very bad. What a mess. What kind of Mampara gives away perfectly good gear to strangers? Gustav Baden, our Mampara of the month. Has he left another note? I have to give Baden credit. He's an even bigger Mampara than I thought. Poisoning himself with fungus and scaling the plateau is perhaps the stupidest thing I have ever heard happening at Vohonga. And I've been here 45 years. Eesh, all right. With any luck, Baden stranded at the top of the plateau. So far, you've saved several animals. Today, you're going to save a Mampara. Follow Baden's tracks to reach this base camp of his.